Hey, what's up everybody? This is Gavinelli, and uh, here we go again with another Hackintosh video. This time I want to talk about some things with you. Um, I've, I get a lot of um, comments, I get a lot of messages in my inbox about people, uh, they're ready to give up, they're ready to quit. And I want to say to you, I know it's hard. Sometimes it's easy, sometimes it's, uh, it's extremely hard. I want to show you just how long I've been into this and how how much work I done put into this. All these CDs that you see or these DVDs, these are actually uh, distros. These are Hackintosh distros. And then I have my real copy of Snow Leopard. So just to give you an idea, this is how deep um, I'm, I'm, I'm into this. I'm not the only one. There are a few others who are, who are deep into this. So let's go through all these distros. All right, we got this right here. This is for Tiger. And then we got uh, Leo for All. Leo for All patched. IPC, AMD edition. IPC, IPC OS 86. IACOS version 1.01. .01. Now, here's the trick. The issue, the issue and the trick to this is... Uh, this row right here is just leopard, and of course, like I told you, this is tiger. Now, I'm not gonna lie to you. I got I got tiger a little later. I actually got tiger after snow leopard. The reason I got tiger is because I needed. Um, I actually went looking for a copy of tiger for uh, for my G5 because my G5 wasn't working. A friend of mine gave it to me broke, and uh, I had to replace a hard drive and get an operating system on it. And uh, the original G5 or the PPC architecture, it does not take uh, Snow Leopard. And, you know, I went with Tiger just to test it out. So, I ended up getting a distro called Jazz. Not saying I use Jazz. Um, I went through several downloads to get the right copy of Tiger, the retail copy. Anyway, I started off with uh, Leopard when I first got started. Oh, okay. The first one I started with was this one. Didn't work. Then I went with this one. It worked. But uh, every time I um, I rebooted, I was greeted with the little circle and the slash, you know, the, the, the forbidden sign. And then I finally went and downloaded IPC and, well, this one and this one and this one. And I never got to use this one because by the time I got to this one, it worked. Now... I was wet behind the ears, so a lot of a lot of work went into this. Not only, not only did I uh, have these, I had to do this. Oh, I'm about to let you in on the secret. This notebook. Let me back up here. See that? These are notes. These are my Hackintosh notes. All the way back from Leopard. I don't have any uh, Lion notes. I don't need any. I just make videos, and if I get lost, I just watch the videos. So, anyway, just to give you an idea how deep this thing goes. So, you see that? Look at that. Instructions. I got one for my uh, Optiplex. See that? This is what you do. You just print your stuff up, man. Because you ever went to a site and you looked at the stuff and you go back and you can't find the site you just print that stuff up put it in a nice place I even got one for Snow Leopard you 
print that stuff up. And the book is pretty thick because there's so many different methods. Um, all Hackintoshes are not created equal. I'm here to tell you that. Keep that in mind, all right? Then, then we got uh, Snow Leopard. This is the Snow Leopard row, all right? Iacos. This is what? Iacos S3? Is it S3? Iacos S3 for Intel and AMD. Iacos S3, Snow Leopard. This is just for Intel. And then we got this one from Hazard. I think this one was the first one to work for me. I think. And then after I figured out what my, what my problems was, I went back to Iacos. I kind of like Iacos S3 a lot better than I do Hazard. Hazard is good. I just prefer this one. And then finally, Iacos L1, L2. Great distros. Depending on the hardware you have, it's kind of a little shaky. And then we have all the bootloaders that I've used. Alright. OS 86 boot disk. I don't know what bootloader this is. I don't even remember. It's pretty old. EFI Empire. I pretty much used Empire EFI all the way on up to Snow Leopard. Okay. For AMD. This is a, a two disc set. See that? This one's for Legacy, for Legacy Hardware. And then I got Tony Max R boot and his I boot. Actually, I boot comes first in R boot. You would use this one for Snow Leopard, and you would use this one for uh, retail install of Lion. And that's what I use also. I use a re retail install of Lion. The point I'm trying to make is, yeah, you're going to have a few hitch, you're going to run into a hitch, or you're going to have a few hiccups along the way, but you would be a fool to give up and not learn anything from your mistake. Yeah, I've, I've stayed up countless nights. I've, uh, I got a, I've, I've went out and bought computers, or I went out and got extra computers because I believe they would work. Just very naive about things, and now I know, I know a whole lot more than what I knew before. So don't just, don't just uh, concede, you know, don't just concede to defeat, man. Just pull your bootstrings tight and learn and go and Google. Google your ass off. I mean, I Google. I mean, I just, I mean, let me tell you something. Some of you cats think that some of this information can't be found. But let me tell you the, the problem. The problem is people who make websites and put the information on websites, they're just like me and you, you know. And what they do is they improperly, they put the wrong type of meta tags in their, their websites. They put something personal like, look what I did. Or something, I mean, I'm not saying everybody does that, but that's what some people do. They put stuff like, look what I did, Hackintosh. And there's a bunch, there's a whole lot of, I'm, I can't even give you a figure. But I'm pretty sure there's thousands, millions, billions, whatever, of Hackintosh websites with content and information that can help you. It's just poor meta tags. Um, Insanely Mac is a good site to go to, a great site to go to. Tony Max, uh, his blog site is pretty good. Um, who else? Ti Coast, they their site is great. Um, these Google these people up, man, because um, they got some good stuff. Especially Insanely Mac, I got to go back to them. There, that's a great site. People are very helpful. I'm not perfect. I don't know everything. I only know enough. To share the knowledge, to sh you know, to get, just to get your feet wet. Or, you know what I mean, I probably can get your feet wet, get you running, get you jumping, you know. But the point I'm trying to make is as long as you can read, as long as you can read, you can do this. You know, I'm here to help you. I don't mind helping you. I don't mind answering questions. I do the best I can. But I just want to point this out to you guys to show you, you know, just how deep this thing goes. And, you know, motivate you. Build you a Hackintosh. Another thing also, when you watch my videos, I don't have, I'm sure you know, I don't have the greatest hardware in the videos. I'm, you know, let me see. I got a, I got a Pentium M laptop, okay, running Tiger. And then I got the dual core Celeron that I'm sure you're familiar with. And then I got the quad core. And then I got another laptop, which is my Vostro, which is, uh, 
uh, a dual core, no, core two quad, no, core two duo. So the point I'm trying to make with, with me listing these machines is I want you to feel like, hey, if he can do this with these low end machines or you can even say these are damn near obsolete machines because eventually they're going to be if they're not already obsolete. If I can do all this with these machines, imagine what you can do with a uh, I, with an i5 or an i7 or whatever else is coming out next and think big. I, you know, but if you're on a budget, then think to yourself, hey, if he can do it, then I can do it, you know. So that's all I'm saying. I just want to po point that out there. I just want to serve as motivation for you guys. I want to say thank you for visiting. Um, thank you for visiting my, you know, my uh, YouTube page and watching my videos. Thank you for the compliments. Thank you for the comments. Um, but if you have any questions, man, I'm, I'm here. I try to, I try to answer everybody's questions. I try not to ignore people. Um, I'm going to do some more videos because I need to explain a lot of things to you guys. I want to talk about Course Extreme again because y'all just keep asking me questions about your graphics cards. So I'm still taking down, I'm taking notes. I'm writing notes because there are a lot of things I want to cover. But this is really important to me. I wanted to say this to you guys and show you. Take a look at all these CDs, man. Look at all these coasters I done burned. And then, and then the end result, the end result is I eventually use a machine with, you know, a retail copy of Lion. And I believe Apple deserves that. You know, I can't afford, I can't go out and buy these, uh, a Mac Pro. Um, yes, I'm broke. I'm just like a lot of people. I'm broke. But, uh, you know, I got, I got a retail copy. And as you see, I got my retail copy of this. Sure, I'm pretty sure that, you know, that doesn't make up for a, a, multi, a, a thousand dollar machine of two thousand, three thousand, four thousand dollar, five thousand dollar machine. However, whatever the price is, I'm sure it doesn't make up for that. But, you know, I'm trying. Hey, that's all I can say about all that. But anyway, I'm done. Just want to point that out to you guys. Keep on doing what you do. Good luck. I'm out.